For viewers across Africa and the rest of the world, this is NC Continental Prime. I am Benga Borowa. We begin the news at the SAR in West Africa, where Nigeria's First Lady, Nurebi Tinubu, has called for improved access to education for the girl child, saying it is an investment in Nigeria's future. The First Lady, while speaking at the National Girls Interactive Session with policy and decision makers in Abuja, in commemorating the 2023 International Day of the Girl Child, also expressed worry at the continuous discrimination girls face in the country. News Central's Amadine Uyi reports. The session was organized by Nigeria's Minister of Women Affairs. It was attended by senior government representatives, partners from the international community advocating for the rights of the girl child, and young adolescent students from selected secondary schools across the federal capital. The day provides us with an opportunity to reflect on the challenges faced by girls in our country, while also celebrating their remarkable potentials and resilience. This theme spurs us to rethink and significantly work towards implementing policies that safeguard the girl child, strengthen laws that inspire her growth and total well-being. We are here today to have the National Girls Interactive Session with policy and decision makers. And this exercise only serves to reinstate the commitment of the government because one key area in dealing with children is participation. The First Lady expressed worry at the continuous challenges girls face in the country, including discrimination and a lack of access to education. It is disheartening to acknowledge that many girls in Nigeria still face discrimination, violence, and limited access to education and health care. We must confront these issues head on and strive for a better, more equitable future for her daughters. She says government must invest on educating the girl child as it has a ripple effect not only on the girl, but also on the nation. Education is the key weapon that we must use to ensure that every girl is free from discrimination and intimidation. Education in particular is a cornerstone of empowerment and we must ensure that every girl has the chance to learn and grow. Empowering them with the knowledge in him is investing in our nation's future. Some female adolescent students present took time to express their demands. I would like them to support us by encouraging us more, bring out more equipment. And you know the world is going to school nowadays, so they should train us more, like pay for free school for the girl child. I want to tell them a very big thank you for celebrating girls. And I want to tell them to put in more effort on the girls and to advise girls more because many girls feel down anytime that they are accused, anytime they are discriminated, they feel down. But if they bring them once in a once in a year or twice in a year and encourage them, their spirit will be lifted up to do anything that they want to do. The theme of the celebration is invest in girls' rights, our leadership and our well-being. Amadine Uyi, reporting for News Central.